After the conclusion of the Specialty Coffee Expo in Boston, Massachusetts, I headed south to Mashpee to talk to Cape Cod's head roaster, Luis Sierra. Born and raised in Guatemala, a country with over 125,000 coffee producers, I spoke with Luis about his journey to the U.S. and his lifetime in coffee. I am the head roaster and the port sales manager for Cape Cod Coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in Mashpee, uh, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. It's a town you know, of the Cape Cod area. Um, how long have you been working for Cape Cod Coffee? For about almost two years. Um, I began working as a, as a barista per se. And then the opportunity came in and I became the head poster almost a year and eight months ago. On the way in, I noticed um, there was a sign, you guys do roasting tours. How is that in terms of like the community? I'm guessing like you know, they're, you're helping them as well become more educated because you guys offer those types of services. Yeah, um, the roasting tours are very interesting because the way how this roastery has been designed, it looks very industrial. Mm -hmm. And we have a little roast machine and which is big. By the, by the way, how, um, what's the capacity of that roasting machine? How many kilos? I can, uh, I can do 10,000 kilos if I work all day long. All day long? Uh, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> which means 20,000 pounds of coffee daily if I want to. People come with the tours. Some of them come just to, they want to check it out. Mm -hmm. and. Other people want to learn more about coffees. I mean, people want to learn more about the plants. Other people are more interested in learning, you know, why coffee tastes like that. I think the roastery will, in a brand, will keep expanding to more locations than coffee shops mm -hmm. slash restaurants, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of coffee and roastery production, it goes all together. How much coffee does Cape Cod um, coffee roast uh, per year? Yeah, we do more or less around a lot of coffees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have around uh, coffees from 12 different countries. We have up to 40 different, between everything, single origins, plants, and flavor mm -hmm. coffees. We do roast around almost 5,000 pounds of coffee a week. You bring like a wealth of knowledge, you know, from you know, growing up in Guatemala all the way here, you know, in Mashpee. How do you, I guess, apply your skills to the team here, like, you know, furthering their knowledge? Do you do like training, cuffing? Yeah, like that with the, with the um, we do. I am also responsible for, little right now, I am working on creating a, a significant and very deep training for the cafe people mm -hmm. and also for our staff. Mm -hmm. Recent world is like any other training, we begin with understanding what coffee is, like, what coffee is about, where they come from, mm -hmm. and basic things, you know, the difference between Arabicas and Robustas, mm -hmm. uh, and then also the decaf process, which a lot of customers ask mm -hmm. in the roasting levels. And then we go on, they have to keep cooking, mm -hmm. they have to keep trying to come up with their own ideas, they have flavors because. You know, coffee profiling is very subjective of what you are used to. Mm -hmm. And here we, our staff, we we work very hard on them, on making them, you know, train or be trained, uh, so they can have the best answer available for our customers. It was an awesome experience traveling to Boston. It was great to learn and connect with some amazing local roasters and how they help their communities through coffee.